So now let's see how we can use the automatic markup techniques inside of Adobe Acrobat Reader. So to do that, first of all, I'm going to click on comment. So you have to make sure that the comment mode is turned on for this to work. So uh, how do you know that? You know that by clicking on the comment button right here and when you see the comment toolbar on the top. So to work around with automatic markup, I'm simply going to select the text right here and then simply start typing. Let's say, for example, hello there, just like this. So what it does is that it actually crosses this out and then inserts out a replacement text, as you can see, which I can post out. So that is how you can actually do an automatic markup of a replacement text. If you want to, let's say, for example, delete some text, you can simply select it and then press the delete or the backspace key right here. And then what happens is that it crosses that section out. You can also uh, go around and then click in between the text where you want and then start typing at it and it inserts. Uh, let's say, for example, a text insertion um, point right there. So that is how you can easily enter out the markup as you want. You can close this and if you're on the selection tool, you can select this out and you have these options over here, like highlight text, just like this. You have an option to underline the text. You have an option to strike it out right here and you have different options over here to copy and so forth, as you can see. And that is how you can use the automatic markup techniques inside of Adobe Acrobat Reader. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.